Okay, you guys, you remember Chino? So he is back for his monthly, are we on monthly or yeah, by, monthly. about two months? Yeah. A monthly grooming and we're doing bathing. So that way a, a groomer's really physically getting on his. I know some of you guys out there are probably like, can't you do that yourself at home? Why, why would you want me to do it? So one, you wouldn't clog the drain, right. okay? Because there's quite a bit of hair that even though he's a larger dog, he has quite a bit of hair. But also, what's another reason why you're coming? Because uh, you know what you're doing. Okay, because I know what I'm doing, <laughs> and I'm going to do the nail trim, and he's going to have a professional physically handle him and, and really be able to see everything. I mean, I think in light of what I found last time, she had, did go to the vet. I mean, what if she just kind of let it go for a while? And so what happened was we saw some, what was it last time, just on his feet, I said, hey, right. get, get yeah. this looked at. Or So now it's actually gotten pretty bad in here. The inflammation is kind of red. It's really hard to tell in a camera, but this should have hair here and it's kind of losing hair. And then you've got some up here that's kind of, hi baby, hi you, I'm in your face. Yeah, and you can see really the puffiness of the eyes here. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the pinkishness and the puffiness, okay? And then down in here, he's got some hair loss. You might go, if you don't know what you're doing, you might go, that might be mange, okay? Mm -hmm. I mean, it is really raw and up in here, like definitely like she said, right up under the neck. And I would assume that it's it's very sensitive to touch. So she went to the veterinarian, right? And what right. And they said, because I said, check the food, check these things. Right. It might be grass. I, I said all those things, right? Right. And then you did. She went to the vet and she found out what now? That it's the grass. Okay. So yes, the vet said it's likely not the seasonal. food because right. they yes. did look at the food. Yes. We ran. And food. probably seasonal. Mm -hmm. And it... Let's just say it is the grass, you guys. Okay, so anytime he goes outside, he's vulnerable. His skin's vulnerable to that grass or the pollen that's in the grass this time of year. Mm -hmm. Which, what can you do? Now, um, if she doesn't have this, I would say if you don't have the same grass in the front yard, you mm -hmm. might have to be a tedious ridiculousness of walking him during the summer months in the front yard to potty, okay? Tighten up the collar if you do that, okay? Because people, your neighbors are going to be like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Um, that would be one alternative. Uh, I recommended today that we, uh, she's actually purchasing the tea tree shampoo. So we're going to do tea tree shampoo and conditioner. We're going to see how it works. She's going to take it home. So if she has to spot wash at home, she actually is using the same thing, tea tree. Tea tree oil, I am a doTERRA person. So if you need doTERRA oil, please co contact me. But tea tree oil is like uh, Malaluca. It's really great for your skin. My opinion, I'm not a doctor or a veterinarian, but it's really great for your skin. So why not do this for your babies, okay? So we're gonna do a tea tree shampoo today. I'll go ahead and do the bath on film. And I told her if it were, if it seems to work really well, and you should see like today, it'll like su s simmer down, the mm -hmm. swelling. Okay, we're not gonna get all up in the eyeballs, okay? Right. But the, if, uh, it will simmer down a little bit and you'll be like, oh, then we should be doing this every bath, okay? Mm -hmm. Um, that type of shampoo, but we won't know until we actually start and get started. Mm -hmm. uh, is he, so she went into the vet, they did, immediately did a, and so when you have a dog like this, I would do uh, cool water, not warm and not hot. I like, I like nice cold water. Just okay. imagine your skin being really inflamed. Right. Okay. Uh, he's not going to be like, oh my God, it hurts, but it does. It's real sensitive. Yeah. Have you ever had a real bad rash? Mm -hmm. You really don't want anything on there, not yeah. even water, okay? Hi, baby. Hi. So sorry. I'm so sorry. Let me get those boogers out of there. Yeah. So she got, they got a serum. This is how long ago? Right after the last room? Kind of? After I emailed you. Okay. Yes, I immediately like. Right. So not very far later. after the groom. Okay. And uh, you guys got a steroid shot? Yes. And how did that work? Like right away, it was like, it right went away for a minute, right? Yeah. yeah. Like and that afternoon or back. what? It, yeah. It came that, back. The, yeah, the same day he was good. And then the next day he woke up and he was ready. Yeah, it looks like there's even some blood here. I mean, the skin is just really, really irritating. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna think about this while I'm grooming him right now. To give her some ideas and tips. And we tried the vinegar and water, uh -huh. and it seemed to bother him. Worse, like made it worse. It. Okay, yeah. so I had. At first, before we knew, it, before it was like this, okay, yeah. we actually, um, we did, I had her do apple cider vinegar and just wipe it in his feet when he came in the door. So that didn't um, help for very long if it did and he seemed to be more irritated by it. Uh, especially as, as, as it got hotter, it, it seems like probably as it's gotten hotter, you know, the dander in the air maybe mm -hmm. or all these storms blowing through has brought in um, some stuff in the grass or it right. literally could be just that type of grass, okay? Oh, 
I'm so sorry. <laughs> so we got this a little damp, and then I'm gonna go. This might have a no, it doesn't. Okay. I'm gonna. I actually pour from the bottle so nothing gets stuck in the in the lid. Okay. okay. And we'll do this side first, the other side, and then we'll come back and do a full body rinse since he's a larger pet. And I told her, if this works, please let me know and we will look in to see if they have gallons of uh, this because uh, larger pets, you know, these 16 ounce of bottles are only <laughs> gonna last so long. So if you guys are out there and you've ordered shampoo or you're wanting to order shampoo, you know I'm always gonna say, if you have larger dogs, go with the gallons because It'll save you so much time and ordering and running out. Okay. I'm trying to really get that all over anywhere I can see that's really red. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to let it sit there for a second. I think the worst parts are his back legs. The his inner back, back legs. legs. Inner back yeah. legs. Okay. okay. So with a doggy shampoo, it's not always that you need a bunch of suds. So you guys out there thinking, you need to really, no, you don't really need to sud him up. The more I suds him up, the longer the rinsing process is. So sometimes the shampoo for dogs is not designed for all these sudsy bubbles. So if you don't see a lot of bubbles, that's not a bad thing. And I'm actually going to not rinse him right away. I'm going to let that kind of, and I'm going to turn him around and do the other side, okay? Okay. So it's definitely a funkier looking shampoo situation, but mm. Mm. Smell you smell? Mm, yeah. yeah, it's got that tea tree smell. It's real fresh and minty kind of. Mm -hmm. uh, so because in light of everything I saw, you remember last time we did a lot of uh, brushing. I'm mm -hmm. not doing. I'm not going to really do that right to do this this time. Yeah. Because uh, just the sensitivityness of the, like all this going on, okay? Because mm -hmm. we got a lot of brushing done last time, but he's, I definitely see he's flared up. That's fine. You want to sit down? That's fine. Let me get this side. Look how red all this is. Yeah. Oh, horrible. So what is the? Um, they did a steroid shot, and yes. then what? Did they give you some pills? What did they? Yes, what? he's on. Um, he's on. Oh, I don't remember what it is. They're some type of steroid. He is taking something. Yes. Okay. I would say it's not, you need to revisit it. Okay. Either the dosage needs, to, you got to talk to your veterinarian, but mm -hmm. uh, it's so inflamed. Yeah. You know, it should not be, I would not want my pet to still have that much inflammation if he's on a steroid. Mm -hmm. So call them and say, hey, you know, I just went to the groomer today. She's, re she's worked for veterinarians and she feels like maybe it's so raw and, and just say it's really raw everywhere still. Uh, can we? What, what should we do? Should we change the dosage? Should I? Should we switch a uh, different kind of um, steroid medicine? Because I know there's more than one out there. Maybe it's just the the way it's put together. Does that make sense? Yeah. And um, since I'm not a veterinarian and I'm advising you guys out there, it's you just never know. Uh, I can't. I know you guys. Some of you are like, no, don't do the steroid thing. I kind of agree. But every now and then you're going to run into a situation where you go to the vet and that's, that's what one of your options is. Okay, so then you got to go, what's the lesser evil of two things, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, last, last summer when he inflamed up like this, okay. they made him take a steroid and a food pill thing. You know, that was just okay. too much. And that was too much? Yeah. Oh, well, how do you know it was too much? What happened? He just, he acted different. He was a different mood. Okay. All the time. Like on the meds. Yeah. And so that's very smart of you to pay attention because yeah. we can all, we, we always do change. Mm -hmm. It does inflect our body, you know, whatever we're taking. Mm -hmm. Whether it's a woman's vitamin or just, it's going to affect us some way. Make us tired more or more energy. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to let you actually sit a second, okay? So we're still on video, and I'm gonna go get my ear cleaning stuff. I'm gonna use my hand right here. We'll clean your ears while you're kind of sitting there waiting, okay? He is such a great dog, you guys. I mean, thank you. Lenise is great. It's amazing. <laughs> you're so amazing. I think you've got. Some, yeah, look at this. So there's uh, some rawness here. Mm -hmm. See that? And is that big? Do you think it's because of the allergies? Or Definitely. Yeah. It's all the way down to the tip. If mm -hmm. you fold it back, you see how dry and flaky it is? Right. That's from that. Okay. And it's like cracking to where there's like blood. 
Okay. okay. Uh, very little, but mm -hmm. that's, I'm going to try to look at his p pads and see. I'm sorry, can I, I know it's sensitive. Mm -hmm. I know it's so sensitive in there. <laughs> okay, let me see again. I know, don't get mad at me, okay? Okay, All right, let me get in there. Thank you. You're so good. Yeah, you're so good. Okay, hold on here. Okay, it's dirty. It doesn't really it doesn't shake. It doesn't look infected, but definitely dirty in there. Let's do the other one. Does he roll around in the grass? He does, and we had to okay. really, like, watch it now. Right, yeah. so honestly, I know yeah, it takes that. more yeah. time, mm -hmm. but he would be on a leash now. Okay. You, uh, it's gonna be like yeah. you live in a freaking apartment. Okay, mm -hmm. you gotta go out and walk. Yep. Okay, you have to don't let him do his own thing anymore. Right. Yeah, because look at look. Yep. Mm -hmm. This is really bad. Yeah. I would be like, okay, well, crap. I've got to now get up early and walk you around the backyard and walk you back in. Mm -hmm. I would I would do that. Okay. Right. Yeah. Now he's on he's on supervised potty. Good. Yeah. He needs that. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, what I would do is your calendar for next year. See how Nick? Those are pretty. They're pretty gross. Uh, and I saw him a month ago. Mm -hmm. So, um, and why did I ask? Because it doesn't look infected. It looks like dirt and gunk and grayness and dirt, right? Mm -hmm. That tells me he's rolling around in something. Okay, so. Okay, I know. Let me turn you around then. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let me see. Don't get mad at me. You got a big mouth if this is painful. Come here. Come here. Shh, shh, shh. Let me see. Don't. Mom, come over here. I think it's pretty painful. You hold his uh, front muzzle. Okay, just in case. Here, don't get mad. Are you ready? Don't get mad. Don't get mad. Let me get in there. More, more. I need more. Okay, good, good. Say so thank goodness for mom, man. <laughs> yeah, so probably kind of just a little irritated getting that kind of stuff out. Here, mom, you can rinse your hands here. Okay, I'm gonna rinse you off now, okay? We're going to go down to a little pool. I'm so sorry, man. I don't even want to touch you. I know it doesn't feel good. I, mean, I know it doesn't feel good. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Down on your forehead here. It gets bad, but I think this is the worst it's ever been. Really? Yeah. So they didn't do any like uh, they didn't say hey do Benadryl or you know what I'm saying like do they did they tell you do Benadryl every last day? time last year time and it didn't last year yeah last didn't year. do anything yeah so what I was saying earlier was um your calendar next year you, if you're this is what I learned from Dr Oz okay okay a long time ago with allergies so allergies like are like a match and once you light them they're lit mm. but if you had got them wet first can you light a book of wet matches no. no. So allergies would not light up if you pre if you do the preventative, which is now you know it's a diary, okay? Mm -hmm. A doctor would be like, well, if you had migraines, when did it start? What are you eating? And he's going to say, do a diary. Mm -hmm. So you have to do this little diary on your calendar and keep track this year for next year and so on. And it may change. So that little diary is, okay, so I, I really got allergy problems on May 14th flared up. So next year, mm -hmm. come May 1st, I'm going to start taking my Benadryl or whatever I'm going to take. Right. Okay, And I'm not a doctor or a vet, you guys. So if you get ahead of it, you, then the matchbook of allergies didn't light up. Mm -hmm. So then you didn't have a huge flaring like this. So maybe next year, right before what happened this year during the time frame, because this is it. Mm -hmm. This is really bad and it wasn't this way a month ago. Mm -hmm. Okay. Put it on your calendar. Between this this month and this month, we had a huge outbreak. It was really bad. And Petey said it was like mm, severe. Mm -hmm. So now next year, this time frame, you need to be on some meds beforehand. Mm -hmm. And maybe talk to your veterinarian about what those meds are. Mm -hmm. If Benadryl can be can act as that, or do you need to go in and do it the steroid shot as a preventative first? Because you know it's gonna happen. Right. Okay. You wanna stand up for me? No. <laughs> I have to get all this shampoo and stuff off. Up, up. Okay. We have to get all that out, so you're gonna, you have to stand up for me. Oh yeah, it's really. I'm so sorry. So steroids, in my opinion, are not something you want to do long term either. So that's why really having a relationship and discussing everything with your veterinarian is really important. Mm -hmm. And finding a medicine that will help 
um, steroids can uh, really start hurting the kidneys and the heart, you know, all things, all organs, if given uh, consistently through life, right? Right. Okay, you can shake if you need to. I know, look at that look you have. What's that look? Look at the bum. Look at your bum. Okay, you shake. I'm going to dry you in a second. Let me get the nail clippers. We're just gonna pat you dry here, okay? Do you wanna try something else for me? Sure. Okay, so pick a spot, and I want you to like take a picture so you know which spot you're really working on. Okay. Let's just say you do just this leg here, mm -hmm. and I just want you to do like coconut oil here. Okay and just apply it and if he licks at it all the time, he can't do it. If yeah. he's gonna lick it and taste so good and he's just eating it, he's yeah. just gonna raw himself up more. So then you gotta stop. Yeah. But it's, it would be a natural, something more natural. We have a cone. A cone. Yeah. Oh, you could do the cone thing. Do the coconut oil the until, it, it might take a few days before he's like not trying to lick it, mm -hmm. okay? But the coconut, I wanna see if it starts relieving some of this redness. Okay. It's a, more of a natural, okay? We put some in his, we started putting some in his food. The coconut oil? Mm -hmm. Okay. Like raw coconut. Okay. Yeah. And uh, regularly or is it just hit or miss? It's a regular. Thing. Regular. Okay. And did that start before or after the inflammation? After. After. Yeah. Okay. So it wasn't because of that, for instance, right? Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we tried olive oil, coconut oil. Hmm. Yeah, you did? Okay. Or maybe back of the ear. Pick a spot he can't yeah, lick. No, he can't lick. Do this side, not that side. Like, pick a side. You, I want to see it start to look like, wow, that looks a lot better. Yeah. If it doesn't, okay, screw it, right? <laughs> but at least you're trying a couple different things that are not medicine, yeah. right? Okay. I'd be, uh, I'd be interested to see the results. Sometimes like the apple cider vinegar, it might not work. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it might work for some other pets. But you see, that's the thing. It was working for a little bit, mm -hmm. and then it just stopped. So, okay, that's... Maybe it wasn't strong enough yeah. because the change of uh, mm -hmm. the well, allergies, yeah. like the, the, it got so like, I can tell you right now, I'm really congested. Mm -hmm. And David was like, Didi, the truck is saying there's this little thing on the truck that says, watch out, bad, uh, what is it, bad air quality. And yeah. I was like, he goes, that's probably what your problem is. And I'm like, wow. I was like, I saw that, but I was totally ignoring it. <laughs> I saw that error. Okay. Man, I don't even want to blow dry you because I know it's I know it's painful. Did we blow dry last time? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna blow dry him. I'm gonna take us off video for a minute so uh, it's not too loud for you guys. All right. Okay. So we're gonna do the nails. Mom, come stand here and just two hands on the head, just in case, just in case I spook him in any way. Okay. But he did great. I'm actually gonna inspect his feet as well. Go back here. Hold on, steady, steady. Hang on. Let me see. Up. Up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, his pads are really raw up. Mm -hmm. That and, uh, oh yeah, no, it's actually um, here in his uh, shin area here. Look at all that. See that? Yeah, you know, do you know what I mean? The yeah. feeling of when it's so inflamed, there's blood. Like you guys, when you just touch the skin and it's just kind of, I would call your vet today. Yeah. Okay. And just say, if you need me to come in, great, but I'm about to head to school. However, I can send you text messages of a couple pictures. Mm -hmm. The st Whatever we're doing is, what do I need to change? Because, I mean, you can hold his arm and, and blood shows up because of how inflamed the skin is. And it's all over his face. Um, his under his leg, it just say it's pretty bad, okay? If it was a, it would be a seven to eight out of 10. Okay, uh, um, okay, great. Call today. 
and all they, they might say, oh, just up your such and such. They might say, you have two and six, whatever they do there, based off his weight. Let's see if, I'm going to see if there's something else besides the steroids we can do. Because like mm -hmm. you said, mm -hmm. uh, long term, one, yeah. long term, it's going to be, uh, long term, I wouldn't like it. Mm -hmm. It's less harsh on a larger dog, but still, uh, it's something I would definitely go, is there another option? Right. And then immediately try that area. Oh, do you have school today? Mm -mm. Okay, good. So maybe do that coconut oil right away somewhere. Okay, thanks for watching Didi Croy with my favorite groomer. And Lenise, thank you for your advice on uh, the allergy situations. I'm not gonna lie. Thank you. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. And um, I'll uh, maybe come back and do a recap. Talk okay, so working on Chino here, uh, what I'd like to say is uh, we did not do a cologne. If you have a pet come in like that with the skin issues, the bloodiness on the skin, uh, you know, definitely tell them to get to the veterinarian. Um, if you can't help them, hopefully the tea tree oil uh, shampoo has really helped with his situation today. We won't know for sure. I told her to call me back today after talking to the vet and find out. Also, um, no like no colognes, no lotions, no no extra stuff on the skin and coat. And because the skin was so raw, I just eliminated kind of doing that zoom groom brushing. To, I don't want to irritate it anymore. Okay, but we did our regular bath and clean the ears and those ears. Oh my goodness, they needed it, right? So thank you, Lenise, for letting me record. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all viewers. And if you can comment below, thank you for your orders, your support. Um, and I just want to throw out, if you are going to be in Vegas for June, um, there's a show out there, but we're also going to be doing classes out there on, the, on our own. So if you want to be a part of any of our group classes, uh, you can go to myfavoritegroomer.com slash shop, choose business, and you can book your class or book your one-on-one -on -one if you need a one-on-one -on -one business coaching or a groomer coaching. Those of you that are really serious taking your business to a different level or need that uh, straight up guidance from someone that's not judging you and not critiquing you, but really here to educate and help you grow. If you are also in the Vegas area and you have a grooming salon and you watch my channel and you believe in the same things that I believe in, I'd love you to reach out to me. So go to myfavoritegroomer.com, click on contact us, email me there. I really want your name, number. I may come to your salon. I would, may, may need to use a demo dog. So uh, a lot of things happening for that Vegas uh, time period for June. Okay, so if you are a groomer and you don't know what's going on in Vegas for June, please look it up. And then if you, can, if you want to meet with me, um, we will have one, at least one social event where we're all meeting together. So if you want to know that date and time, you got to email me. Uh, I do, I'm not going to throw that out there for the public just for people's safety and my own safety. Um, so thank you for your support. I appreciate you. And also like, just keep in mind, uh, if you need that tea tree shampoo, you can always log into our website, myfavoritegroomer.com slash shop. Go to the shampoos and conditioners and the tea tree shampoo is there. I recommend it over uh, the smell good shampoos. It smells great. It's like Malaluca. If it smells great, but it is definitely for a reason. You want to use that for a reason, especially if you have some issues with skin on your pet. Uh, there could be a multitude of issues out there, so be sure you know you talk to your veterinarian first, or you know your best for your pet. But definitely, tea tree is an option for those skin issues, and we'll see today if that really helps him. I'm going to have her let me know. And today, I am opening up some uh, mail kind of glanced inside there and noticed they were gifts and I really love to put them, let me do this, put them on the channel because it's my way of like communicating with you guys, right? And I just really want to say thank you. So this one comes from uh, Michelle Mimi and she is always on my YouTube channel and uh, she looks like she's in Maryland. All right, so thank you so much for you guys thinking about me, man. I just love gifts and you know I, I give them back, so... The, uh, sometimes gifts or postcards. All right, I need to go get some scissors. Okay. <clears throat> so we recently went out to Hawaii. We took some supplies out there. Uh, I, I visit many groomers when I'm on island. And because I have lived uh, and worked on Guam, I know how incredibly expensive it is for shipping and handling. So I bring out supplies, and even though Hawaii, you know, we uh, they're still they still get some of the the decent rates for shipping and handling. But when you order big stuff as a salon, like heavy clippers, heavy blades, you still pay for shipping and handling. So, all right, Mimi, what you got yourself into now here? Let's see here. So cute. Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, she sent some. Look at this. So how, in fact, today is Memorial Day. So she sent me some Memorial Day kind of <laughs> military. Ooh, some USA mm -hmm. earrings. Thank you so much, Mimi. How thoughtful is that? That's, I love it. That's awesome. Uh, thank you. Today is a Memorial Day. So thank you to all you veterans out there in active duty military. I appreciate you all so much. And Mimi, thank you so much. I think that says speaks a volume there. All right, let's see here. And this, uh, this item is going to be from Adriana out of Houston, Texas. All right, let's go. I can't appreciate you guys more, man. Me and David just love you guys, and uh, I, I love you more, but... <laughs> okay, so Adriana says, thank you. Dear Dee Dee, this is just a little token of appreciation. I have learned so much from your videos. Very, very grateful. Be well and hugs from me, oh, excuse me, hugs from my pack and me, Adriana, May 2018. So thank you so much. I know um, I always believe in give credit where credit's due, and this sh this tells me a lot, shows me a lot. It looks like she sent me a shirt here, so let's see what this, let's see if it says anything specific. So cool, isn't it? What? Okay, here we go. We've definitely got a... Okay, so this looks like it's a groomer to groomer shirt. And the back is uh, top 10 reasons why it costs more to get your pet groomed than your own haircut. Let's go down it together. Your hairdresser doesn't wash and clean your rear end. You don't go eight weeks without washing or brushing your hair. Nope. Your hairdresser doesn't give you a sanitary trim. Nope. Your hairdresser doesn't clean your ears. Nope. Those nasty, uh, excuse me, men ears. Those nasty men ears with all that hair. Put David, when you get that old, I'm going to be plucking those ear hairs out. <laughs> Are you ready? Uh, your, hairdresser, yeah. your hairdresser doesn't remove the boogies from your eyes. Oh my gosh, did we have some of those today. You sit still for your hairdresser, and a dog usually doesn't. Your haircut doesn't include a manicure or a pedicure, or both. Your hairdresser only washes and cuts the hair on your head. Yep, not between your private parts. You don't bite or scratch your hairdresser. And the likelihood of you pooping on the hairdresser is pretty slim. Gosh, is that all not true. So thank you so much. Adriana, it means so much to me that you had uh, gave me so much some of your time and your money and, and your gift giving. So I appreciate it. Thanks for you for you all watching. Man, uh, my allergies really got me messed up. So thanks for you guys watching. I appreciate you more than you know, and thanks for your orders. Uh, your, those of you, again, today's uh, Memorial Day, so thank you for your service. Thank you, and um, you know, God willing uh, to be with the families that have had lost uh, military members. I uh, appreciate you all so much. And thanks for the gifts, y'all. Love you. Bye, we'll talk to you later.